Hi, I'm Mike Elliott, and you're watching CEO Roadshow. Today, we're joined again by Mr. Sam Ataya. He's the CEO of Western Magnesium Corp. Western Magnesium is committed to rebuilding the United States industrial base by offering their innovative, eco-friendly, and high-quality clean magnesium, metal, and alloys, focusing on American companies and American products with an American workforce. Their stock trades in Canon on the TSXV under WMG, and here in the U.S. on the OTC under MLYF. Good afternoon, Sam, and welcome back. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Um, to start off real quick, for new investors, give us a quick overview of Western Magnesium. We are uh, we have produced a technology that is going to bring back the production of magnesium metal into the United States, specifically for U.S. industry, such as auto, aerospace, airline, eco-friendly tech companies like car battery companies and the Department of Defense. And we're fo focusing on those industries uh, to support American industry and give it an advantage over uh, other countries. And Sam, next, let's talk about the news regarding metal purity results at your pilot plant uh, that's happened over the last month. How does your process compare to other manufacturers and why is that purity so important for magnesium? Well, to begin with, we're very excited that we produce magnesium metal here in the United States, and more specifically, that it's green magnesium. And I'll talk about that in just a moment. But what is so exciting for us is that we built a commercialized pilot plant, and we've proven once and for all that we can produce magnesium metal for industry in the United States that is green. And, and that was the first part, and that's been very, very exciting. We did that about five weeks ago and, and finally brought that plant online, the commercialized pilot plant online. Um, but now we've had those results tested, and it's been unbelievable because the purity, uh, normally what we're trying to achieve in the market, especially for industrial, is 99.8%, and we came back with 99.83%. What makes that unique is that typically producers around the world, when they produce magnesium, they have to clean it to get it up to that 99.8% purity. But this is straight from the reactor, un not cleaned uh, at 99.83%, which means that we can uh, apply it to different products now in, uh, for magnesium. And we're, we're very excited about that. So this is a real game changer. And again, I'm going to say it, it's green. We have near zero toxicity and near zero waste. And that, that's a complete game changer as well in the industry. Wow. Okay. And when do you anticipate uh, your pilot plan to be fully operational? Well, it's now fully operational. So it's uh, starting uh, to produce on an ongoing basis. It will, we're going to be running that for about six months. We want the data and the analytics. We want to see what we can do with it. We're going to push the technology. We're going to stress test it. We're going to do a lot of things with it uh, until we get the data that we feel comfortable with to go on and build big commercial plant that we're, we're planning on. And so that we're going to break ground on in 2023. So this next six months are, are vital for us to, to look at all the analytics and make sure that the plant we build, the big one, is uh, will be ready to go and supplying U.S. industry. Great, Sam. And do you already have potential clients lined up for your magnesium product? And if so, where are you seeing the most demand? I think that, it, you know, here's the thing. I, people will say that the auto industry is the low-hanging fruit because they're desperate to reduce weight. And, and again, I'm going to remind everybody that you know, magnesium metals, 80% lighter than steel, 60% lighter than titanium, and 33% lighter than aluminum, yet it has a great weight to strength ratio. And certainly uh, different industries want it because it lightens the load. You know, people say that auto industry is the low hanging fruit, but quite frankly, so is the airline and aerospace and, and the military. Look, the military in the United States is the largest polluter in the US. And if they can change the metal on their vehicles, on their tanks, on their planes, certainly would be less polluting. So really, it's a, we are in dialogue. We are talking to different industries. Very exciting uh, because we're getting to know what they want and what they need quickly. Uh, a lot of them have uh, challenges meeting EPA regulatory standards like the auto industry, where they really have to figure out what they're going to do by 2030 and reducing emissions. So these conversations have started. Uh, they've been very positive, and uh, we're looking to announce clients that uh, we'll be working with. Great, Sam. And, and lastly, I just wanted to talk about, just to give investors uh, watching this interview some perspective, you know, we talk about focusing on the U.S., U.S. manufacturing, U.S. jobs. 
especially strategic metals and crucial metals, like just paint a quick picture for us. How dependent right now is the U.S. historically a, a great manufacturer, one of the greatest in history? How how dependent are we now today on foreign suppliers for metals like magnesium and other strategically crucial metals? Well, you know, clearly we're very dependent, and I think that when the supply chains broke and uh, and COVID came in, we saw that we were very dependent and we couldn't get what we needed. You got to remember that with rare earth metals. Our cell phones, computers, satellite navigation, our military is completely dependent on rare earth metals. The thing with magnesium is we extract it from a, gra a gravel aggregate called dolomite, and it is actually the reverse. It's the seventh most abundant material in the world and available all throughout the United States. We are not a rare earth company. We're a rare tech company because we're the only ones with the technology to produce magnesium metal in a green uh, environment. And so... You know, I think for us, it's so important to bring back production, resource, and manufacturing within our own borders. It's vital. We've let it go. We've lost our way. And it's time to bring it back into the United States. And we feel that we're part of the tip of the spear uh, of trying to make that happen in the U.S., being built in America by Americans for American corporations. And overall, really, the message has to be that we are a green technology and we, we can build in the United States uh, a, an environmental product that helps the environment and still profitable. And I think that we have to invest in that. We have to, to really do more to create companies like ourselves to really start building again in the United States. It is vital. Let me tell you in the magnesium business how dependent we are uh, to the Chinese. So the Chinese came in in 1997 and decimated our magnesium industry. 6,000 casting companies shut their doors over a span of two years. And by, you know, and that was it. The Chinese, uh, there's only 1 million metric tons of this metal being made every year. 85% of it comes from China and we're completely beholden to them. And so we can't get it. We can't get enough supply to help our industry, especially assembly line manufacturers that want to see a continuous supply of magnesium metals so they can pour it into cars and planes and trains and other products. Uh, there's none of it available. So we're really the first game changer now that is coming in into the United States, a domestic supplier, green environment, profitable, and, and we're very excited about that. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Sam. <clears throat> you guys are, uh, you know, one of the companies we've started to see now that we're paying attention to that are really focused on the American market and restoring American industry. So um, that's great to hear. I applaud you for that. And I think, you know, as investors put Western Magnesium on the radar, that's one one of the things they should keep in mind. You're not just investing in Western Magnesium, you're, you're investing in the rebuilding of American industry and infrastructure, and, and that is uh, critical. So Sam, that's all the questions we had for today. Uh, what else should investors take note of as they add Western Magnesium to the radars? I think this is a period and time we're going to see a shift in government policy and financiers stepping in and saying is enough is enough. We need to really bring back um, production, manufacturing and resource to the United States. And I think we're shifting away now from dependency on other markets. I think we are part of that. If you want to participate in a company that is environmentally responsible, we're it. If you want to participate in a company that's providing jobs in the United States, high paying jobs in the United States, we are it. If you want to participate in a company that's trying to build industry back into the United States, we're it. So there's a number, uh, to, a number of things to focus on when it comes to our company. And I think we appeal to a lot of investors because typically, you're having to sacrifice either, you know, if I invest in a, in a, in a, in a green technology, maybe it's not so profitable or how will it help us here? Is it going to be built offshore? But with our company, we are green. We're going to be profitable. Uh, we're going to be very competitive. We're a domestic supplier and we're supplying U.S. industry. And that's going to give U.S. industry an advantage. And that's a very good investment to feel good about. Couldn't agree more, Sam. Thanks again. Thanks for joining us uh, and for your time. And we'll see you again next Wednesday at 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern time for your next investor webinar. So for those watching, please register for that at ceoroadshow.com and join us for a live webinar followed by a Q&A with Sam. Um, Sam, until next week, uh, take care.
Good. Thanks so much. Thank you. Cheers. Right, uh, for everyone uh, watching, thanks for, for watching this interview. Again, we've been talking to Mr. Sam Ataya. He's the CEO of Western Magnesium Corp. They trade again um, uh, in Canada on the, under WMG on the TSX here in the U.S. on OTC uh, under MLYF. And you can find more out about them at their website, westernmagnesiumcorp.com. Thanks for watching. CEO Roadshow.